So this patient came to me. She has gum recession here. She needs pinhole. But I can't do pinhole on her until we clear up the infection. Now, some patients come to me and their mouths are clean and perfect. They just have gum recession and they only need pinhole. But in her case, I just really can't do the pinhole until I've eliminated the infection. And you can see tartar here and tartar here, tartar here. We took a slide and the slide showed a lot of parasites, a lot of organisms that were causing the disease. So let me show you an x-ray. You see these sort of spikes on the sides of the teeth? Here, here, here. These spikes are actually tartar or calculus that has never been removed and is irritating the gum tissue and is trapping bacteria and is trapping parasites. So before we can do pinhole, we have to eliminate the infection. So the first part of the treatment is with LANAP, eliminating the infection, eliminating all the calculus, eliminating all the tartar. Also, her front teeth are loose because of all the bone loss. So we may want to splint from behind where it doesn't show, splint those loose teeth together so that they're firm. Because otherwise, if they're still loose, she could bite on something and just knock one of them right out. And once her infection is under control and these lower front teeth are splinted together so they're not wiggling around and moving, once that's done, then we can reevaluate her for the pinhole technique because these teeth are extraordinarily, exquisitely sensitive to cold and something has to be done. We're going to bring that gum tissue up at least as much as we can to cover those roots. This happens not infrequently where we have to get the disease under control, that is the infection under control first. Once the infection is under control, she knows how to take care of her mouth then we can proceed with a pinhole to stop the sensitivity and thicken and bring that gum tissue up. So I thought this was an interesting case and I wanted you to see it, wanted you to hear other aspects of what can be involved with the pinhole technique and with gum disease. If your gum's not healthy, remember you're not healthy. You can't be healthy if you've got these parasites traveling not just in your mouth but throughout your body causing all kinds of havoc that you don't even know about. It's the other silent killer, really. At any rate, we would love to hear from you. Comments, questions, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Important, most important. Have a good day. Take care. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.